Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratku Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising Weekly Tarot reading August 6th to August 12th 2018 Before we go guys to the spread of the week I want to remind you that the monthly tarot readings are already up at the channel and if you didn't have the chance by now feel free to browse them down and uh, enlighten yourself for what is yet to come into month of August for your star, moon and rising sign so uh, that being said, going to the weekly spread now, Scorpio, we are starting with, with quite of a card here. It, is, it will be quite a positive week for what it seems. Nine of Cups, it, it takes a the topic of the week, followed by the next one here, the next winner that we do have, Two of Cups. It is the core of the situation. Then followed by the Moon card as the challenges to be overcome. And the last one that will be the um, guidance card here, we have the Eight of Swords. So as I said, very positive week, especially for those who are looking for love. Now we do have the Two of Cups, which represents that someone already appeared in your life. If you did not, uh, and, and if you are single and you have no idea uh, who that may be, well, shame on you, it is because you have closed your eyes for a, a potential suitor and you need to start walking out a little bit more outside and also showing to the world that you are uh, single and that you are ready for a new relationship a little bit more. I mean showing to the world to the world that a little bit more but the nine of cups here is the topic of the week showing a very positive week filled with emotional content and emotional satisfaction either because uh, finally your career is gonna be on the rock what I mean is that it's going to be um, uh, is going to be on fire, excuse me, not on the rock, but on fire, or either because in relationship, in case you are finding yourself um, in a such, you know, things are going to go severely in the way that you are expecting, so your partner is going to surprise you, they are going to make, to make you emotionally fulfilled, they are going to kind of like contribute for your happiness, etc, etc, and that is because um, you are kind of like uh, blessed, with the love of the world here. The Two of Cups does not point only to intimate to intimate love but also points to the love toward a human being that being said in your social circle you're going to feel extremely comfortable realizing the people truly care for you and as well that that applies into your relationship that applies into your career as a matter of fact this card points that you're going to receive extreme uh, a very big support from your co-workers from your boss and from from your supervisor etc etc but what is the thing here it is because you became more open to the world in a sense that you now share more you share how you feel you share what you want to do you share your joy therefore your joy becomes uh, a double you share your pain therefore your pain becomes halved and uh, you are going to realize that uh, when you are after a, a grand thing uh, you cannot do it on your own, you know. I mean, you can, but it's going to be very painful, stressful, and that's why you now have to kind of like attract more people into the matter because it's going to be more fun and it's going to be, in general, more satisfiable. And you will be quite content about it. Now, the thing here, however, as we do have the moon card into a, a challenging position, it it may throw you off what will be your next step in the sense of that as you are finding yourself in such an emotional satisfaction here you may think that that will be the, that is the end of the line uh, in a sense of that you know you don't want to do anything new it is because you with the new ns you can jeopardize the current position that you are finding yourself at either relationship or career wise you know or either suit in in a sweeter perspective but the moon card here says that something is cooking for you all right and in, in a negative position it does kind of like throw you a little bit off balance a balance because you're going to see that things are happening around you you know there are going to be some meaning meaningful circumstances that are um, uh, popping up from uh, from nowhere and you may not know what to do with them being hesitant to 
act upon those kind of uh, circumstances and not that we that you do need to do something about them right now as they don't have much sense you know but at least don't be afraid um, the fear is something is the thing that rots your soul just enjoy yourself during that week Scorpios it is all that is asked and when someone wants to give you love do not push them away just give your love in return as well and you're going to see that you are going to feel extremely well and extremely satisfied and the last card here that we do have is the guidance with the eight of swords and that card represents the channeling of one's vision that card represents the uh, the subjugation of what of one's goal here especially that card represents the uh, the absence of predicaments into one's communication so you have to be very sincere when you speak with people I mean your voice needs to kind of like a, um, a ring with candor your your voice needs Needs to be compelling and it, and it is what is going to be if you speak with compassion and if you speak only the truth and uh, that way you are make you're gonna make yourself very clear about what you expect especially from a potential suitor from your partner from your boss etc etc how you're going to achieve it as well uh, in such a way that it's gonna bother nobody around you and they will find it very hard or, or, or very hard next to impossible to refuse what you're after and if you play your cards right at the end of the week you may end up with a girlfriend or a boyfriend you may end up with a new job promotion you know with a new project or in, and in general you will end up with reaping up the fruits of your labor so that was your weekly tower reading Scorpio for August 6 to August 12 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rat signing out now see you next time bye